Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting updates that could have significant implications for the future of Iraq's economy and its relationship with the United States. We're diving into some breaking news regarding upcoming negotiations between Iraq and America, specifically focusing on the banking sector. This could be a pivotal moment for Iraq's financial landscape, so let's break it down. As reported recently, Iraq and the United States are set to resume crucial negotiations on the banking sector this coming Monday, August 26. An informed source, as quoted by al News, revealed that a delegation from the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, will be heading to the United States to engage in these talks. Now, this might sound like just another diplomatic meeting, but let me tell you, there's a lot more at stake here than meets the eye. So why are these negotiations so important? To understand that, we need to look at the broader context of Iraq's economic situation. The banking sector in Iraq has long been a focal point for both domestic reform and international cooperation. Over the years, Iraq has faced a myriad of challenges in stabilizing its economy, from fluctuating oil prices to political instability and the ongoing need for infrastructure development. All these factors have put immense pressure on the country's banking system. And let's not forget the international sanctions and restrictions that have often complicated Iraq's financial interactions on the global stage. Enter the United States, a key player in Iraq's post-war reconstruction and economic development. The relationship between the two countries has been complex, especially in the financial realm. The U.S. has provided considerable financial aid and support but with it comes a level of oversight and influence that sometimes causes tension. These upcoming negotiations are a continuation of ongoing discussions aimed at improving Iraq's banking sector, which is critical for the country's overall economic health. The delegation from the Central Bank of Iraq will likely be discussing a range of issues during their talks with American officials. This could include topics like modernizing Iraq's banking infrastructure, enhancing anti-money laundering measures, and ensuring compliance with international financial regulations. Another critical area might be the strengthening of the dinar, Iraq's national currency, which has been a subject of much speculation and concern. Improving the banking sector isn't just about stabilizing the currency or increasing foreign investment, it's about building a more robust and transparent financial system that can support Iraq's long-term development goals. A healthy banking sector can attract more international businesses, provide better services to Iraqi citizens, and help manage the country's wealth more effectively. It's a cornerstone for sustainable economic growth. On the American side, these negotiations are also significant. The U.S. has a vested interest in seeing a stable and prosperous Iraq. A strong Iraqi economy could contribute to regional stability, which aligns with broader American strategic interests in the Middle East. Moreover, improving Iraq's banking system could help mitigate issues like terrorism financing and money laundering, which are of global concern. So as these negotiations unfold, there will be a lot of eyes on the outcome. Both Iraq and the United States have much to gain from successful talks, and the implications could be far-reaching. We'll be keeping a close watch on any developments, and we'll keep you updated as more information comes in. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this and other important topics. See you in the next video.